Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. Welcome one, welcome all. Y'all know I've been gone for a minute, a couple days. Um, it's just a lot going on, as usual. That's why I want to join, I want to ask uh, a lot of you to join my Patreon. If you're going to join my Patreon channel, you want to see stuff that is so off the chain that you would have never expect to be happening in the, uh, a real world, especially with what we call senior citizens, because that's what I am. But we get it in. And um, on Patreon, uh, we're going to put content up that, of course, that will get flagged, that, that is not going to be very feasible on YouTube. Um, so we have to figure out other ways that are constructive and not destructive to bring y'all and show y'all another side of uh, uh, Khadija and another side of what's happening in the mental house. Let me say something. A lot of people out here have platforms. A lot of people out here, everybody wants to be, um, what should I say, a new Oprah. But I'm not new to this. I'm true to it. Actually, I've been doing this since about, mm, how old is my daughter now? She's about 32. So I've been doing this uh, at least since she's been three months old. I started with Access Television. I um, was very successful on Access Television. Um, got a couple awards. Uh, and from there, it was the Khadija Anwar show. So I've always been in media. I've always been recording. I've, I've, I've recorded gospel music. I've recorded R&B. And I've recorded funk. And I've done that since I, at, since the age of 12 years old. So um, what I've learned that there's a lot of people now, the way show business and the way entertainment and the way all this stuff is structured now, there's anybody can jump on YouTube and become a content creator. However, everybody is not responsible. Okay? And that's why everybody shouldn't have a platform. There's a lot of y'all that are being very irresponsible in the things that you say, in the things that you report, in the things that you uh, represent. You're not responsible. And uh, hell, half of y'all don't even fact check what you're saying. So that would make it very difficult um, to uh, actually put a lot of credence into what a lot of y'all are saying. So, but what I do want to say is my experience alone and what I'm bringing to the table is going to be facts. Fuck your feelings because they these facts are over your feelings. But I can't um, expose any of this stuff on YouTube uh, because, of course, it's going to be flagged. I like to talk about uh, the Johnny Carson stalker and bring y'all a lot of information. Of course, I was the one who supplied the footage to the national uh, networks about the man who um, stalked Johnny Carson. He was from my hometown. I knew him very well. I knew him personally. And it, it, and it was a family with a family history of mental illness. That's why I talk so much about mental illness, because things that we have normalized in our communities are just not healthy. People and things that we have done that our family members have per perpetrated and have done against us is not healthy. One of the main things we see in the black families um, that is so um, hurtful, that is so debilitating, and to me, in my opinion, evil, when you have multiple children and you take one child out of that family and make him feel better than the rest of them, that is the most hideous, irresponsible behavior that a parent can ever perpetrate against her brood, her, her family, to be, um, how do you say it, to be uncaring and unfeeling enough to take this clay and allow it to be developed in a way that it would already think that it's less than or not as good as. Um, these are the kind of things that are just like everyday behavior in the black community. That's my baby. Oh, don't do that to my baby. 
Uh, which is it? And and those are the things that get us into trouble. Another thing that get us into trouble as black, especially black single women, and I'm saying us, although I'm exempting myself because there's no way in the world I could produce from the seeds of me what I see up and down these streets today. I couldn't produce that. There's no way. Um, a tree is known by the fruit that it bears. So if you got a lot of crazy stuff running around here, you cannot blame the fruit. You got to check the tree. Got to. Okay, and that's where the understanding will come from. That's where the definition and the um, blueprint is basically going to come from. Okay, so what I've noticed, like I said, in our community is there's just a lot of unhealthy things. And on Patreon, I would hope to be able to share this with y'all and y'all be able to share with me some of the obnoxious behavior, the unhealthy behavior that we participate in, that we see. Uh, uh, and we're going to go out in the field and we're going to talk and we're going to do uh, bring interviews. We're going to, uh, like I said, show a different side to what we've been bringing uh, some of them are already there. <laughs> and uh, we just got to get y'all to support the channel. Uh, and, and the only reason you haven't supported the channel is because I haven't actually uh, advertised it at all. So let me all know that this is what um, is coming down the future for the Mental House TV. I suggest and I want to encourage each and every one of y'all to get in touch with the unhealthiness in your family. I want you to get in touch with what is healthy in your family. Because once we start seeing our families of origin as pretty much the catalyst to a lot of these bad behaviors, uh, even though it might be a hard pill to swallow, it, it's, it's based in truth. and it, it should give you enough ammunition to really go forward in your life. But you cannot go forward in your life if you're not even willing to accept the truth. Right? So these are truth postures, and I want to be healthy. So that, that means more to me because I'm surrounded by such unhealthiness. Um, in my family, all over the di all over the place. And so are a lot of other black families. And how can we not uh, have health mental health issues? After all we've been through, after all that has happened to us on a generational level, how can we say and think that we are healthy and we've never addressed even the trauma from the slave ship? How can we consider ourselves healthy when we can't even go two questions deep without having an emotional breakdown? And what I mean by that, if you say something and somebody questions you and they ask you, well, what? That, you know, maybe it doesn't make sense to them or maybe they need a little further explanation. And they ask you another question pertaining to the same subject that you asked and you begin to get agitated. Now it becomes nuclear. You're like, whoa, all I did was ask you, how did that happen? So those are all signs of emotional distress and emotional breakdown. So like I said, my job here today is to get in touch with us. Um, I'm going to bring a couple more videos because I've been going through uh, some things, like I said before, um, that has keep me sane. Um, the hospital had my father at death's door, told us to get uh, count his rights. Um, in fact, I called the crematory, um, start setting up arrangements um, for my father, start... Uh, pulling together all the legal work and paperwork that you put together when you expect a person to pass in terms of the life insurance and all that kind of stuff. Uh, he said my father stopped breathing. Um, so uh, when he came back to, um, they had given him up for dead and didn't think he would last the night. His blood pressure had uh, receded all the way down to, I believe, like 84 over 57. So it was extremely low. And as y'all know, my brother was buried uh, last Friday, and my family is still dealing with that. And I step, let me thank each and every one of you that showed up for his 
celebration of life. But that's still another video that we can get into um, after this. Might put that one on Patreon so y'all really can see what time it is. But other than that, I want to wish y'all all, all uh, bid you a wonderful day. Um, encourage you to join the Patreon channel, uh, the platform. I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. And I guarantee you, 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 you'll have fun. And you'll be informed. And um, it'll be a different contrast, a big contrast to what we do here on YouTube. Okay? So, with that being said, y'all see that little button down there? You know, uh, or the little thumb, just hit it for a likes up or a likes down. Don't really matter. Just hit it. Hit something to let me know that you got me. So if y'all understand, and if y'all agree with me that the mental illness too starts in the home and that most of our homes are not healthy, give me a shout out about that as well. If you got a family situation where your mother has played favoritism by another one of your siblings, uh, uh, and made y'all almost worship this sibling or this sibling gets away with murder while you, on the other hand, are high, held to a higher or a different standard. All those things are unacceptable and all those things are unhealthy and they help create a, 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 a person in you that you may not really be. So you have to get up under that and scrape all that craziness out of there and find out who your real self is. Okay? So with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And like I said, we got some wonderful content come uh, on Patreon. Join us over there. All right. Thank you very much, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. <laughs> bye bye.